safety regulations. Um, we've now three quarters of the way through the day and we have most of the storage heaters out of the house and uh, we are... How many, how many storage heaters? Uh, we've, we've taken out um, six storage heaters, several panel heaters. Wow. And we are uh, converting now to all electric heating. You got about seven, eight tons of bricks there, yeah. roughly. <laughs> okay, guys, this is our starting point where the old storage heat is on the wall, and we come down, strip it out, take all the bricks out, and remove it, uh, remove it from its current position. We replace the supply, the switch fuse at the beginning of it, and uh, we connect the new panel heater into the same point. Another, uh, another heating point. Um, this originally had a fan heater on in this small kitchen, which is obviously extremely inefficient. Um, we've taken the original switch fuse and we've just chased down to put a connection point and we've got a small uh, IntelliHeat uh, radiator to go on to the two new brackets. Uh, it will still be controlled from the switch fuse above there um, but um, obviously it's going to work far more efficiently in this kitchen. On this point we're uh, putting the uh, CaliSense radiator which is uh, compliant with Lot 20 Eco Design uh, and again we've got two brackets on the wall um, radiators go on extremely simply, you just pick them up, slot them onto the existing top point of the bracket, as you push the radiator back, there are two hooks that just rotate at the bottom to catch the bottom rail of the heater, and that is now fixed firmly to the wall. Another room in the, in the property we're working on, uh, this has already had its storage heater removed, um, and the Cali sense put on the wall. The problem with the old storage heaters is that you have no real control over how they release their heat. You basically decide today what heat you're going to need tomorrow, and if the sun comes out and it's nice and warm, you're getting that heat anyway, so you open your window to let it out. With these new Cali sense radiators, the, uh, they have a built in thermostat, a built in programmer on the top here, and you can write a program uh, very easily to control the temperature levels within this room. To comply to the eco guidelines now, the, uh, the accuracy of the thermostat on these radiators is 0 0.1 degrees. Now that's quite important for the new eco guidelines because um, if you select 20 degrees in your room, that's what you want the room temperature to be. These, uh, these radiators actually show you when they're drawing power uh, via three, three colored LED to show you how much power they're actually consuming at the time. Also within these radiators is a presence detection which you can enable through the programming. So if the room is empty and there's nobody in it, it will not be utilizing any power. If somebody comes in and opens a window, there's an open window detection on this unit as well. So it will then stop heating a room that has got an open window in it. All of this is aimed at to maximise the energy efficiency of the units to save as much energy as you can within your house. So once you've got power onto the electric radiator, programming them is very simple as long as you follow a step-by-step -step procedure. Basically you open the flap, you start with the heater in standby mode and then you press and hold down the M button. Ten seconds. At that point, the time, the default time will be displayed and this will come up as 12 o'clock when it comes from the manufacturer. You then use the plus and minus buttons to set the correct time in hours. Select that with the M and do the same for the minutes. Once you've got the time correct on there, press M again. The small arrow at the bottom of the screen denotes what day of the week you're on. At the moment, it's on number three, and we are in fact on Wednesday, so that's correct. So we accept Wednesday as being the current day. Okay, press and hold the M button for 10 seconds. At that point, the time, the default time will be displayed, and this will come up as 12 o'clock when it comes from the manufacturer. You then use the plus and minus buttons to set the correct time in hours. Select that with the M and do the same for the minutes. Once you've got the time correct on there, press M again. The small arrow at the bottom of the screen denotes what day of the week you're on. At the moment, it's on number three 
and we are in fact on Wednesday so that's correct so we accept Wednesday as being the current day CaliSense has several built-in programs and uh, these can be used for different days of the week so each day can have its individual program or you can run the same program for several days of the week. Uh, the programs are normally given names um, called P1, P2, P3, Eco and these are all configurable. Once you've set up the radiator with its relevant program for each day of the week it's then as simple as, uh, as that previous process was to set up the hours that you want the radia radiator on during the day. Now normally you would set this up for different hours in different rooms and depending on how you use your house. You have two basic temperatures. is a selectable comfort temperature and a background temperature. Each radiator actually shows you how much power is being used at a particular time. On this one at the moment we've selected a pretty high temperature for it to achieve in this area of the house and it's driving power in at 100% of its capacity and as you can see the little indicator on the side here is against the red symbol showing you that it's drawing full power. As it gets closer to the temperature that you've asked for it reduces the amount of power it's putting into the radiator so you don't get an overshoot on the temperature and now you can see we've dropped the temperature and it's only putting in about 50% of its capacity just to slow down the rate of rise of the temperature of the room and to bring it into what you're asking for. Once it gets closer in the room to the actual temperature that you're asking for it will then turn the tap down even more reducing the amount of power this radiator is using to bring the temperature up to the required temperature of the room and again the little pointer has gone down onto the green one. You can think of these symbols as working exactly the same way as the efficiency symbols when you buy a new washing machine.